Hello everybody, my name is Jürgen Selmes. I have a background from applied physics and mathematics. And seven, eight years ago, I founded ALVA. ALVA Industries develop high performance electric motors with our patented fiber printing technology. And today I thought I would make this video to tell you a bit more about it. So today there are billions of motors in the world and all of these are made up of two main components. You have the rotor that rotates and you have the stator that is static. And the majority of these motors in the world are made with iron in their stator component, like this one. These motors, called iron cord or slotted motors, they're strong and easy to produce, but iron is also heavy and it comes with several disadvantages, which I will talk about a bit more in a couple of minutes. Uh, if you remove the iron from this component, you get what is called an ironless winding, which is used in an ironless motor or slotless motor. These motors are lighter, have higher efficiency at higher speeds, less noise and vibrations because they don't have cogging, and higher peak torques, all by removing the iron from the motor's core components. So the main two challenges with these motors today are that they're known for generally low continuous torque and also a high cost due to challenges in manufacturing. These were the main challenges that we were met with um, seven, eight years ago, which encouraged us to invent fiber printing. So in the summer of 2016, I set up a workshop at my parents' place in Oslo, where I started to experiment with an existing manufacturing method for ironless axial flux motors. Unfortunately, this method didn't quite work, but I had a book which I wrote down the results in and also new ideas. And after around a week, I woke up with an idea that I wrote down in this book, which is the main principles of what we today call fiber printing. So first, I'd like to explain the five main benefits of fiber printing. Number one, the intrinsic flexibility of the manufacturing method. Secondly, the high continuous torque due to the higher copper fill factor, the compactness of the motors, zero cogging resulting in less noise and vibrations, and a much higher peak torque. So let's start with number one, the flexible manufacturing. So all windings in electrical radial flux motors are shaped as a cylinder. And if you cut it and lay it out, it's shaped as a rectangle. And this is the basic principle in reverse for fiber printing. We print or wind a belt of copper and we shape it to a cylinder and mold it to, um, to a stator. So if you want to change the axial length or height of the motor, you change the width of this mat. If you want to change the diameter, you make the mat shorter or longer. And if you want to change the thickness, you change the type of wires, the thickness of the wires, and the number of poles, faces, and even turns will be changed by the winding pattern. So intrinsically, fiber printing is extremely flexible, enabling us to manufacture windings of virtually any type of motor um, easily. All right, secondly, let's look into why fiber printed motors have higher continuous torque than traditional ironless or slotless motors. The main reason for this is twofold. Number one, due to straight windings. And number two, due to higher copper fill factor. Let's start with this one. So according to the Lorentz force law, the force generated in a winding is proportional to the current and the magnetic field in which the resulting force is perpendicular to the direction of the current and the magnetic field. 
So in a winding like Alvas, like in the copper belts, where this represents um, this winding, the magnetic field is uh, radially in a radial flux motor, so this comes out of the plane. The force generated wants to be in the tangential direction, so the wires should be uh, axially, like this, which it is in Alva's motors. So the resulting force is equal to this equation right here. In traditional ironless or slotless winding methods, many of the methods used have tilted windings like this. So in a winding like this, where the windings are tilted, the force generated is actually not in the tangential direction. So the effective force is actually a function of the angle between um, the force and the tangential direction. So the force generated here in the tangential direction is actually a function of the cosine of this angle. So many competing technologies use angles between 30 and 45 degrees. So to simplify here, we're going to use in this example an angle of 45 degrees, degrees, which means that the actual force is around is divided by the square root of two. So lower than the initial force, which means that the force in Alva's example with straight windings is actually a square root of two higher than competitors with a 45 uh, degrees tilted winding. When the force is higher, the torque is also higher. So this means that Alva's motors will get around 41% higher torque just by using straight wires compared to tilted windings. The other effect is due to a higher copper fill factor in Alva's windings, which means that the amount of copper in the cross section of the winding, like this, is higher in Alva's motors than in competing solutions. In a cross-section of Alva's motors, the copper fill factor can be as high as 55%. While in traditional ironless motors, we see between 25% up to perhaps 45%. 25 to 45%. So in this example, we're going to use 2x, as in Alva having two, two times the copper fill factor of a competing solution. So what happens if the copper fill factor doubles? Since the torque is proportional to the current, which is proportional to the inverse square root of the resistance, and the resistance is proportional to the inverse of the area, this means that if Alva double the area of copper in the windings, we get the torque is increased by one over the square root of a half, which equals square root of two. So by looking at the motor constant, which in simple terms uh, describes a motor's ability to convert energy into torque. So the motor constant equals the torque constant divided by the square root of the resistance, meaning that the motor constant of Alva 
if all other parameters are the same, the weight, the size, you just double the copper fill factor and you use straight windings compared to half the fill factor and tilted windings, you will get square root of two squared two times. And this is what we see in Alva's motors, that we can reach up to 100% higher torque or at the same torque, uh, continuous torque, have half the weight of competing solutions. Thirdly, one of the key benefits of Alva's slotless motors is the high inner diameter, as you can see on this motor, which even contains the rotor. And the main reason for this is because we remove the iron in the teeth, there's no slots, and also the high copper fill factor, which enables engineers to integrate our motors into the application with either drives or gears or anything they might fancy. The fourth benefit, uh, zero cogging, mainly comes from the, the effect of removing the iron teeth altogether in the stator. So in a traditional iron cord motor, you have teeth like this. As I show in this illustration, you have the stator in a traditional iron cord motor with the windings on the iron teeth. And on the rotor side, you have a north and south uh, magnet with fields going out like this. Then the magnetic flux will tend to go through the iron teeth like this which means the magnets will be attracted by the iron teeth and forces them to align with each other. And this creates what is called a cogging effect, which basically means it vibrates and creates noise and can affect the durability of the motor. So this is shown as a torque ripple and typically can be between one to 10% of the torque of the motor. Slotless motors, on the other hand, do not have this problem because they have a symmetric interaction between the rotor and the stator, which creates a very smooth motion, even at low speeds. This being the stator, this being the rotor. The result is that slotless motors are a preferred option for precision applications where noise, vibration is an issue and if you need smooth velocity at even lower speeds. So slotless motors also have extremely high peak torque and the main reason for this is because we remove the iron from the stator. So to understand this we need to understand saturation. So iron is a ferromagnetic material which basically means it consists of tiny magnetic regions uh, called domains, which when applying an external magnetic field, it aligns and enhances or boosts the magnetic field. So this is the, one of the reasons why using iron in motors is, is a good thing because you strengthen the magnetic field, which increases the force generated and thus the torque. But like a sponge, in water that gets saturated after a while, when the external magnetic field has reached a certain point, then all these magnetic domains in the ferromagnetic iron is aligned with the magnetic field and it cannot increase anything anymore. And at this point, if you increase the current more, the torque barely increases, like this. So as you increase the current, the torque will increase linearly up to a point which is called the saturation point and after this it flattens out. While in a slotless or ironless motor this relationship is linear all the way up. So because of this Ironless or slotless motors are very easy 
to control because you can double the current, you get double the, the torque. And you can also reach much higher peak torques up to two, three times of traditional iron cord motors and 50 to 100 percent higher peak torque than other slotless and ironless motors. So these are the five main benefits of fiber printed motors. You have the flexibility, the high continuous torque, which means we have the performance and torque of slotted iron cord motors with the precision of slotless motors. So in addition to the fiber printed windings of Alva's motors, we also develop holdback array rotors. In traditional rotors, you have a magnet array of north, south, north, south, like here. In a holdback array rotor, the magnets are tilted 90 degrees to form a north, east, south, west pattern, where the added magnets, east and west, helps strengthen the magnetic uh, flux density, which increases the torque output of the motor 10 to 20%. So in total, these two components, the fiber printed windings and the holdback array rotor, make up Alva's high precision motors. In summary, we have a scalable, flexible production method. So if you have any questions or are looking for a motor to your application, please reach out. Thank you.